Hello YouTube, this is my drum sander kit and we're going to show you how we're going to use it with our new little drill press table that we made to fit in our vise. We'll show you the box real quick. We'll take a picture of the box. We'll show you how it real quick goes together. Uh, you'll put like a washer on here, whatever size. Then you just slide this on and then you'll put your washers here. Okay, then you tighten this up. This is squeeze the rubber, expands it, and makes it stay tight on there. Then that chucks in the drill. Now my drill is an oscillating drill, but I'm not going to show you how that works because I never use it. That's so you don't sand in the same spot. But what we want to do with small stuff, we can just adjust the quill stop where we want it. Like say we wear a little too much, we, we can always adjust that. We got a few small parts we're going to make sometime that we want this small one here first. And then what you do is, the drill press table, you'll see there's a hole in there, okay? This goes down in there. That helps keep it centered so you don't wobble it. So I think you know what I mean. And it's, I think it seems to be standard because these fit in that old drill press table. So, like, see, there's one for your big one to the next size. And then there's one you just plop in there when you, excuse me, are not using it. So, we'll have to the drill press to get everything set up and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is how you set these up. So, on the big table, the hole's off to the side. But for small stuff, this is what I wanted to do. So, I'm not going to have this oscillating because um, you wouldn't get very far because I got that bar crossed down in there. We'll turn it on here. And for small stuff. I've kind of been sanding on this. Let me see if I can find yeah. You could go up like this, but it's not gonna be level. So kinda of how we do that. Say you had something like a piece of wood you wanna like I wanna make a knife handle for your finger thing, what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, I can do the final sanding by with the wood doing that. So I don't have to have it oscillating. So there you go. Now you know why I made this little table here. Well, one of the reasons why. Plus I can clamp pieces of little bolts I made. There, we'll turn it off. And I want to give a shout out to 357 Magdad. Uh, I will put a description in my, in my description. I'll put a link to his channel. If you like watching me restore old tools, <clears throat> excuse me. He does a lot of old tools. He's restored a lot. And he uses one of these a lot. He will put buffer wheels in here for the higher speed than when I'm running. I can change my speed. Uh, he's used it like a lathe. If you watch his videos, he's done a lot of different things of attachments in a drill press. So, i uh, give you some more ideas. How to use a drill press for different things besides just drilling holes. So, he has even, a, I'm sure he has a drum sander. I know I've seen him use it. So, thanks for watching. We'll leave you a couple photos and we're going to go back inside for a while and cool out. Then we'll probably maybe come out and make another short video today. It's only about 80 degrees in here because it rained this morning. But it's going to get hot and humid again. It's that time of year. So we're out of here. We had enough.